Everybody knows that the pitcher, catcher, and shortstop are key players on any team. But very few realize how important the center field is. They don't realize that he's the man in charge of every play whenever the ball gets by the infield. If you're interested in playing center field, you pick a very exciting position, but also a very difficult one. Not only are you responsible for all the balls hit to you, but you would have to learn to direct the other outfielders and back up every play you get to. Since he has to cover a lot of ground, a good center field needs plenty of speed, but it takes a lot more than natural ability to be a good center fielder. Now, one of the first things you have to learn about position yourself. This, of course, depends on what's happening. The pitcher will be very strong in the first few innings. Now stay a little bit to the right of him as in 4-1. Then in the middle of the game, he started getting weak. Move over to dead center. Near the end of the game, when he's weakening, move a little bit to the left of him as in 4-2. Those are close up, fixed position. Now if a left hand is hit, it, move a little bit to the right of your fixed position as in 4-3. If a right hand is hitting, move a little bit to the left, as in 404. Also, be careful not to let the second baseman or umpire get in your way. Now, as far as fielding position is concerned, the first problem is ground balls. Whenever a ball is coming to you on the ground, charge it. Just don't stand there waiting for it. As you know, you lose valuable time. And don't worry about missing it. Just get to the ball as fast as you can. Now when you get there, try to catch the ball on the side of you like in 405. This way you can come up the ball all in one motion like in 406 and 7. However, if it looks like it's going to be a, a tough ball to hound, if it takes a bad bounce, play it safe. Get in front of the ball by dropping down on one knee as in 408. This way. If you happen to miss the ball, chances are the ball will probably hit you in the chest or the glove and just roll a little bit. Sure, the runner will probably get one base, but that's all. You'll probably be able to come up with the ball and prevent him from getting that extra base. Remember, no matter if it's an easy or tough ground ball, charge it at all times. A tough ground ball of all is a tweener. A twin is a ball hit between right center and left center. You got to run as fast as you can to get this one. Now even then, you may not be able to get in front of it. If so, try and knock it down any way you can. A twin is usually good for two or three bases and sometime inside the park home run. Now if you can hold the runner to two bases, you're doing a very good job. Once you knock it down, get on it as quick as you can and get it back to the cutoff man. The cutoff man on the right side is the second baseman. The cutoff man on the left side is the shortstop. Now when you throw into the cutoff man, always try to hit him a little high. The main thing is now don't, don't throw it over his head. Now the correct way in catching the fly ball is up over your head. Position your hand like in 409. This way, if you get your glove on the ball but miss it, the ball will bounce up and you'll get a second chance. If you try and catch the ball low, the ball will bounce off your glove and it'll drop to the ground. Of course, you don't get any chance at all if you miss the ball entirely. Always try to keep the ball in front of you. Catch it on the right side if you're right-handed and on the left side if you're left-handed. And always try to be in position to throw even if you don't have to. Catching with two hands. I have never seen an outfielder who catches the ball with one hand that doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Besides, it takes longer to throw the ball if you catch it with one hand. If you use two hands, you can take the ball out of the glove in the same motion to throw. See Porto 10. It's much quicker that way. Catching the ball and getting rid of it quick is what your job is all about. Of all the balls you're going to have to catch, the line drive is the most difficult one. You charge it like a ground ball. Don't wait for it. Get in front of it and approach it very carefully. 
Now, if that's the runner on base, I always expect for him to run after making the catch. Always, never hold on to the ball.